Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to cover state in React. So let me just explain what it is real quick. So uh, a quick reminder, uh, props, it, uh, props pass data to component. It cannot modify, uh, you cannot modify the props and uh, you pass it in a parameter. And on the other hand, um, Component use data. Uh, component use state to manage their data, and state can be modified using this function set state. So basically, set state re renders a component, and you after updating uh, it or playing with the state, you can read a state by this thing. This dot state. So let me just uh, apply it in code. Uh, let me do some practical work and show it to you how it goes. So. First thing first, I'm going to create this class uh, and call it counter app and then extends react.component and it's say uh, simple syntax and I'm going to create a state um, over here and I'm going to say counter on zero. So I'm sorry. So what I'm doing over here, I'm going to create an app. So I'm going to have this button over here. Once I click on it, uh, the value on top of it uh, in HTML uh, code, it will just update. The value will update, keep updating, okay? Just like uh, when you um, go to Amazon and uh, click on the um, quantity I'll, on the plus button. Oh, I want more, I want more of this product. So the number keeps increasing. So yeah, state counter zero, and now let me create this uh, function for increment. So I want to use ES6 JavaScript function over here, arrow function. So let me explain what it is. So syntax of ES6 JavaScript function is uh, parentheses arrow and then curly brackets, right? So let me just show it to you guys. So this is the syntax, right? It reduces um, application memory consumption. So if you don't want to use it or you want to see uh, what is the closest uh, thing is, so bas basically just replace this arrow pointer to the function, right? To this uh, keyword function. And that's the, that's the difference. You can get this concept from here. So, I'm going to write my code over here and I'm going to say so I want to increment a state so what I said earlier so when you want to update a state you use this method this dot state right this dot state this pretty much increments the state so over here you you need key value pair Okay, so key value up here is counter, the uh, the variable, the value you want to update. And then, again, this dot is state dot counter plus one, right? So you are pretty much using this dot is state twice because you are incrementing it. And you're using, uh, you're using colon over here because it's a key value up here. And we got state done, we got increment done. So our um, increment is pretty much all set. Now we need render function to um, display the app, right? To use um, uh, HTML uh, code. So here I'm going to return HTML division, misspelled it. All right, so let me uh, display the counter and um, paragraph. So again, I'm going to uh, use this dot is take to um, this dot is take to um, sorry set a set a state of base the counter. And this dot state basically reads, okay. 
so over here uh, set a state it should be set state my bad I was so confused at what's going on I yeah so basically over here it's updating and over here it's reading the uh, incremented uh, counter okay and this dot state dot counter and then I got this button over here and on click this dot increment and I'm going to name this button increment Alright. Oh, I need to uh, initialize the element and declare it. So I'm going to say counter app and then replace this whole thing with the elements I created. Yeah. All right, so it should update. So it's updating. It's working. Let me see if I can build it. I always like these uh, HTML H1 H1 tags. Perfect. It's like bigger and better. I just want to play around a little bit more and uh, create the comment. negative one and uh, what else use this thing let's see if it works perfect and oh my god I just I care too much about front end thing. So okay, increment is on the right, the command is on the left. Alright, it looks good and we got the whole concept of state and I'm sorry I um uh like explained it wrong in the beginning. So set state basically updates uh the state and this dot state basically you read it you read the uh value or state right all right guys thank you very much i hope you liked it have a good one